Hey, Fuzzy Goat family. I'm sorry, we're a little bit late. Uh, Cadence is not here, so we're kind of running, you know, trying to steer the ship. Let's just say it that way. Um, so welcome. Uh, it's Tuesday here, Fuzzy Goat in Thomasville, Georgia. I'm glad to be here with you guys. And as you can see, I do have a finished project, which I'm super excited about. Really like the sweater. It was, I'll say, a little painful because it just was a long time. But now that it's done, I'm actually thinking <laughs> that I might make another. Um, I just, here, I'm going to stand up. Let's see. This is the V-neck um, boxy. Okay. And I know I had talked... I'm just going to go ahead and talk about this while, while we're on the subject, while I'm on the subject. Um, I had a couple oopses on it. One in particular was when I was knitting in the movie theater watching Patrick Swayze's Dirty Dancing, and I had just created a hole. And somebody had asked if I would um, show how I fixed it. Well, I can't really show, but this is where, can you see? I've got comments there, so I can't tell. Um, there was a hole right in a very um, not appropriate spot where my little tag is. You see, there you go. And so what I did is I went and it was, it didn't, I didn't drop a stitch. I just kind of created a new one. And I went in behind it and I um, weaved in one end, went in and just kind of gently, um, kind of brought the two stitches on either side together and then weaved in the other end. So I actually, so I have, I put a marker there and I actually have one in the back. <laughs> Which side is it on, Harriet? Right there. Do you see it? I don't know if you can see it. Right there? I think I also had um, like a partially, when I was knitting, it had a partially drop stitch. So like I had grabbed it, but it was kind of thin, so I wanted to reinforce it. So I, I wore my markers, and I was just curious to see how many people would notice it, and some did on my back. Um, of course, I didn't go anywhere but in the shop. Anyway, so that was this sweater that I wanted to talk about. Was there anything else I wanted to talk about this one? No, but it's super comfy. This yarn that I used is um, less traveled yarn with the silk in it, Palmera. I want to think that's the name of it, which we're expecting some in this month. And it's, I think, 20%. I can't remember the percentage. Super soft. After I blocked it, I was really happy with the way it blocked. Love the sleeves. So, I mean, the drop sleeves come all the way down to here. So, you didn't have to do very much on the sleeve, which was awesome. And this is kind of where... You know, I push them up anyway. Um, I was going to show you my little doggy. Look at he got so she got so excited she scratched me up. Um, let's see what else I want to talk about. So fall weather here it's been beautiful, and makes me want to knit some heavier stuff. But um, not doing that. The weather was so pretty yesterday. Monday is a big knitting day for me, and yesterday was so pretty that I played. All day. I just played tennis. I was outside, so I didn't get as much done. Because I had, I try to, I try to keep a list of like when I want to work on what, and so how much I want to get done. And so I didn't get to work on a couple things, but that's okay. I'll show you. I'll still show you. Um, all right. What I want to start with. I, I talked about this. The heart again was one that I really wanted. I might do this tonight. This is a sweater for my friend, and I all I not all. This is the one side. And I need to, um, we decided that we were just gonna go right to the ribbing. So I need to do that and figure out how long I need to do the ribbing. Um, this is a um, fine Spud and Chloe pink color tutu. I think that's a good way to see the pattern there. Um, but anyway, so this is Hardigan is called. I'll, I'll put the links up um, as well underneath. I'm trying to think there's something else I'm going to talk about that. Yeah, so I didn't really get to pick this one up. I'll, I'll just as much to decide, I think last time we talked about what we're going to do. So we're going to go right to the ribbing and then figure out how much of the ribbing we can do. I think you can kind of adjust that as you want. I do want it to kind of match the bottom ribbing. I don't want, we'll see, we'll see. All right, so that was the heart again. Another one I didn't pick up too much and my mom called me out on it. <laughs> She's like, that must be a hard one. You don't pick that. What's happening here? Oh, my Lord. And it's not that it's hard. It's a beautiful pattern. It's just um, not a lot of resting going on. So I have to be careful when I'm doing it. This is, okay, here we go. This is, oh, uh, caladium. Is that how you say it? It's flower. I think I'm saying that. Caladium. I didn't study it like I did last week. Caladium. Um, then hers is going to be a scarf. It's a one skeiner. 
uh, have a little drop stitch here too, which I'll need to fix. Yeah, so, and I, I weighed my ball because I was like, am I halfway there yet? And I'm not quite halfway. I might be now because I weighed it before I did my last repeat. So maybe halfway. Let me show you what I got left. This is, I'm um, using Copper Corgi, who's coming this weekend, Saturday, for our birthday um, in the shop. So we're kind of excited about that. So this is um, Copper Corgi Spanish Moss Gray. It's a really pretty gray. Um, okay, so that's Caladium. Caladium? <laughs> I just, thanks dad. Thanks dad. Um, okay. Oh, so this one's been fun. This is kind of trumped a lot of things. This the one because I think I've mentioned my nephew's having a baby or his wife. And so I am making the, um, let me show you. Ooh. The um, bear cardigan, the baby bear cardigan, cotton. So I, I really want it to be done by the baby shower. And so that's kind of Trump stuff. Where's my other? Oh, here we go. So I've been working on this. This is fun. It's cotton, 100% cotton. And I, I will say that if I work on cotton very long, my thumbs get sore. So I mean, I've heard people say that too about cotton. But so I do try to like do just a little bit. So this, it's pieced together. This is the back. I'm making, the baby's doing uh, December, so I'm making a year old. So this is the back. I've got, I believe, the left front done. Here's the arm. I like the way they did the, the little arm. Can you even see that? Yeah, I guess you can. And then I've started the other side. So once I get this done, which is not, it's going pretty fast. Um, but I just, like I said, I've spaced it out because I, I noticed, I'm like, oh, is, is it my hands getting? Is it arthritis? But I noticed once I switched to another project, it doesn't get sore. It's like right here. It's weird. Well, you know how I a knit is a lot of flicking going on. Um, anyway, so this is the other side. So I think what I have to do after this is next is the hood. Do the ears on the hood. Then you do the sleeves. And I think the sleeves is where the pattern is. So here's another picture of it. We do have a bunch of these kits if you're interested in them. I'll put the link up. Um, anyway, and then the next thing I'm going to do for the baby is I'm going to try to do those booties. I think I showed you the booties. Let me show you because they are just so cute. I don't know. I'm not very good at small things, but I'm going to try to do these little baby Converse booties. Maybe I can get them done for the shower too. We'll see. But otherwise, the baby blanket that I'm doing is going to be for the birth-ish. The birth-ish. Okay. So that's that. Um, let's see. What's the next one I want to talk about? Um, oh, the promenade blouse. This one's fun. I, this one I'm really excited about. Finishing to wear it. All right. Oh, okay. So I haven't gotten to the point yet where I'm going to be separating the sleeves, but I'm almost there. I think I'm, I've done the last increase. I'm gonna stretch this out a little. It is. If y'all could feel this, it is so soft. But I, I think it's going to be open enough once I block it that it's not going to be too heavy. I haven't decided yet on the sleeves. Of course, I don't know. I might do like three, like this one, maybe three quarter with a. Um, I cord so that it'll kind of be tight there, but uh, so soft. So yeah, one more repeat, then I think I separate the sleeves and I go in the round, and uh, that's it I think on that one. So I got, I feel like I might be playing yarn chicken. I'm not sure. I did weigh this, and it's it's deceiving how much yardage is in here, and I have one more. So I th I think I'll be okay. I'm not sure I'm gonna make it as long. Let's see as she has for the blouse, but maybe, maybe I don't have it. Maybe I don't have it. Oh yeah, here it is. Have it. So, I mean, it's very, it's very blousey. So I, I didn't make as large of a size, but I also think it's pretty long and I don't need it quite that long. So that's the promenade, promenade blouse. I need to finish my sister scarf so I don't have to mispronounce that every week. That's what I just decided. I just had an aha moment. Finish it so you don't have to repeat it wrong every week. So that's the promenade blouse. 
So my son, I think I told you guys, got his license, and which is awesome, but I don't see him now as much. So I, you, re, you forget when they're that teenage stage, when they have you drive them places that you actually get to talk to them. So I'm kind of missing that. But the other funny thing is, he'll probably kill me if he knew I was even saying this today, but I said, son, when is homecoming? Cause like I'm seeing all these pictures from other schools and stuff of homecoming and yeah. He said, oh, it's, I think the end of this month. I'm like, okay, well, are you thinking are you gonna go? Or are you gonna ask somebody? He's, oh, I already have a date. Didn't even know. <laughs> So, of course, I go mama mode because, you know, my other two children are girls. So, you don't, I mean, you, yes, you have to prepare for the, the dress and the shoes and all that stuff. But with a boy, you got to make sure he's got the flowers that the girls want and that they match her. I think it's a whole nother level of stress. So, that's kind of exciting. But, okay, I got one more thing I want to talk about. So, I am doing a sweater class. Um, a color work sweater class. <clears throat> That starts this week. We are not doing it virtually. It's too hard to do it virtually because you can see my work, but I couldn't see yours. So, but I'm mentioning it because some of you may just want to knit along with me. Um, the pattern that we're doing is called Forest Land. It is um, just, it's a color work sweater, but just two colors. So you got a main color and the yeah, accent color. There it is. By Jennifer Steingas, Gas, I think is her name. I've done a couple a couple sweaters by her. Cadence has done one as well. So I really like her color work sweaters. I was on her Instagram last night and just, I mean, the detail and stuff is good. And her, and the, her instructions, her patterns are, are written very well. So this is the pattern. It's a DK weight. We, oh, I meant to grab them, but I'll put the links up. Um, because we're having the class, we did get some extra um, knit-wise DK weight yarns in. Do you does you want to grab me a set of all those DK? Just just one of each, if you don't mind. Sorry, so I can just show you guys. Mm -hmm. If you're interested in doing it, you don't have to use the knit-wise. That's just kind of what we um, we're going to be using. We also have other DK weight that I think we got some more Emma's in too. Um, for the most part, um, on the sizing and how many skeins you'll need on the knit-wise. I think it's like the first size I think it's an extra small you will use four of the main color and a chunk of the sizes will use five of knit wise for the main color and then it goes up I think the, the larger size maybe uses seven just so you know but on all of them the um, the contrasting color is just one so that, that's why this is a nice one it's just not, not a lot of color work thank you very much I just want to show you some of the combos that we put together, if I can remember. <laughs> okay, so we did this. This would be the main color, very similar to the picture. Um, so the this is foiled, and this is smoky eye. I think this is not one of my new favorite colors, smoky eye. So that's one option. Um, let's see. I think this one. Was there another set? No, is this it? Oh, the green. Is there any more of the green? No, the green is gone. That was a good one. Okay. So this is actually, um, I do have mine. The color I'm using for my main color, this is Mist. And this is very similar to Jackie O. I'm realizing as I'm knitting it. Very pretty. And then this is um, the rouge that you could use for color work. I'm using something else, but this is an option. Then we have this, I think we have more of these though, right? Spill Tea, it looks like it's just a cream, but it's it's a very neat color. Um, and then we had it paired with a green, Knitwise Green, which is gone. We also have some Emma's Green for the color work, which is really, would be really pretty. What was my last one? Oh, this one, Dungarees. And this is also a very pretty blue. And then we had Why So Serious, oh, I love her name, for main and this is color work okay so just so you kind of have an idea I was going to show you what I'm doing for my color work because you can do this as well this is I've been always wanting to do something sorry with feeder brook so I'm going to do my color work and this I know it doesn't really look like a leaf but I think it'll be pretty so it'll kind of change colors so that's what I'm doing so I just want to mention that I have 
Where's my gauge swatch? I did do my gauge swatch, and I kind of surprised myself. Um, so I, I usually go down a needle size. So I, I did the appropriate um, length in that one. And then I, look at that, my nail polish matches my swatch. <laughs> then I did a little ribbing right there, and I switched to the six because when I checked my gauge, I felt like I might actually have like a half or three, like almost an extra stitch in there. So I am gonna actually do the, um, and I actually washed it, I actually blocked it too. And um, I, for me, the gauge didn't change much, but it's a good idea to try that at least once or twice. This yarn has um, nylon in it, so I think maybe that's why it doesn't change a whole lot. Anyway, so that's my swatch, and I like to put, I didn't cut my yarns. You know, sometimes they'll tell you to cut it in the back, but then you can't use it. I, I didn't cut it here either in case I needed to use it, and I like to put them on just a stitch holder. Um, or was there something else I was going to tell you about this? Maybe not. Can't remember. All right. Um, and I have so many other projects I want to get started on, but I just, I need to focus because I have already too many projects. But I think that's all I wanted to go over. Now I can take off my markers on my body so people don't need to ask me what they're for. Um, <laughs> please call us. I'm, we're happy to help you or help you plan your next project. Again, I'll put the links up for the, um, the yarns underneath here and the pattern names. And yeah, I look forward to catching up with you guys next week. All right, take care. Bye.